Here's what happened around the world in November 2023. The war in Gaza raged on, but Israel and Hamas agreed to a seven-day ceasefire that finally allowed much-needed humanitarian aid to enter the Gaza Strip. 70 Israeli hostages and 240 Palestinian women and children held in Israeli jails were freed as part of the deal and reunited with their families. More than 15,000 Palestinians, including more than 6,000 children, have been killed in Gaza since October 7th, while the death toll in Israel stands at 1,200. In other news from around the world, Pakistan started arresting and mass deporting Afghan refugees back to the Taliban-controlled Afghanistan. Miss Nicaragua won Miss Universe and unexpectedly became a symbol of resistance. Also at Miss Universe, this Napoleon nursing student became the first plus-size woman to ever compete at the pageant. Argentina elected this far-right leader known as the Madman as its new president. And the Netherlands also voted in a far-right politician known as the Dutch Donald Trump in one of the biggest election upsets in Dutch history. Russia banned the entire global LGBTQ movement as an extremist organization. Meanwhile, New Zealand's new right-wing government reversed its groundbreaking plan to ban smoking for all future generations to help pay for tax cuts. This Croatian politician tried to kiss a German woman politician at an EU summit and caused a huge controversy. Somalia was hit by its worst flood in 100 years, right after its worst drought in 40 years. Iran jailed this mom for 13 years for speaking out about security forces killing her son. And Kenya created a public holiday for people to plant 100 million trees to fight climate change. Follow Almost for more stories from around the world.